Suppose you have sets A and B with the cardinality of A equals 12 and the cardinality of B equals 9. This indicates the number of elements in set A is 12, the number of elements in set B is 9. The first question is what is the largest or greatest possible value for the cardinality of A union B? Which means what is the greatest or largest possible value for the number of elements in A and in B? So if we're looking for the largest possible value for the number of elements in A and in B, well that would be when B is a subset of A, meaning all the elements of B are also elements of A. Let's sketch this below. Again, if B is a subset of A, and we have set A here, then all of the elements of B are also elements of A, which means B is inside A, and again, the cardinality of A is 9. And since the cardinality of A is 12, and there are already 9 elements in A, and there are 3 elements in this region here that are in A, but not in B. Notice the number of elements in A and in B is equal to the cardinality of B, which is equal to 9. This is the largest possible value for the cardinality of A intersect B. Next, what is the smallest or least possible value for the cardinality of A intersect B? Well, this would be when the two sets are disjoint, meaning they don't share any common elements. So again, if we had set A here on the left, where the cardinality is 12, and set B here, where the cardinality is 9, notice there are zero elements in A and in B, which indicates the smallest or least possible value for the cardinality of A intersect B is zero. And now let's take a look at the third question. We're asked to find the possible values for the cardinality of A union B, meaning the number of elements in A or in B. And again, because of the compound inequality, we're looking for the greatest or largest possible value on the right and the least or smallest possible value on the left. Well, let's start with the greatest possible value of the cardinality of A union B, which would be the greatest possible value for the number of elements in A or in B. Well, this is going to occur when the two sets are disjoint, as we have here on the left. Because they don't share any common elements, the number of elements in A or in B, meaning the cardinality of A union B is equal to 12 plus 9, which is equal to 21. Remember, this formula only works when the two sets are disjoint. But this is the greatest or largest possible value for the number of elements that are in A or in B, and therefore 21 goes here on the right. If they did share just one common element, the cardinality of A union B would be less than 21. And let's just show that real quick. So if we had a Venn diagram where there was one common element between set A and set B, we'd have a one in the intersection of A and B. And because the cardinality of A is 12, we'd have 11 elements that are in A, but not in B. And because the cardinality of B is nine, we would have eight elements that are in B and not in A. Notice how set A contains 12 elements, set B contains nine elements, but the cardinality of A union B, this set here, is 11 plus 1 plus 8, which is 20, which is less than 21. So notice how the Venn diagram that gave us the smallest or least possible value for the cardinality of A intersect B is the same Venn diagram that gave us the largest or greatest possible value for the cardinality of A union B. Similarly, the Venn diagram that gave us the largest possible value for the cardinality of the intersection of A and B this one here on the right is going to be the Venn diagram that gives us the least possible value for the cardinality of A union B. So the least or smallest possible value for the number of elements that are in A and in B occurs when B is a subset of A. Since all the elements of B are also elements of A, A union B results in just set A that has a cardinality of 12. So the cardinality of A union B 
when B is a subset of A is equal to, in this case, the cardinality of A, which is equal to 12. Notice there are 12 elements that are in A or in B. And this is the smallest or least possible value for the cardinality of A union B. I hope you found this helpful.